So now that we've unpacked the system and installed the software, let's actually connect it to a computer for use. The Ethernet cable by default is used in the right-hand port. This port is labeled either NIC1 or NIC out, depending on the system you have. You're welcome to use either port, but the defaults talked about in this video apply to NIC1 and NIC out. With the Ethernet connected, we'll power up the system. Now you're ready to go. The default IP address is 192.168.100.2. Let's ping the I.O. module to ensure we have network connectivity between the PC and the I.O.M. If you cannot ping the IOM, you may need to change the IP address of the computer or the IO module. If you need to change the IP address of the IO module, please see the following video.